When it comes to injection molding for parts, the overall size, part volume, and design of the parts will determine if one layout is better than another layout. I'm Cameron Moore, the Director of Overseas Manufacturing at Effective. I've been living and working in China for over 13 years. Since options for injection molding tools come in multiple layouts, we're going to discuss the three most important today. Those are single cavity, family, and multi-cavity tools. Let's dive in deep so we can better understand which option is best for you. Here we see a single cavity tool. Single cavity means in each shot of plastic, the tool produces one individual part. This type of tooling is the fastest to make, but the unit part pricing is the most expensive. We see shown here is a multi-cavity tool, where each shot of plastic produces multiple quantities of the same part. Since there are more cavities to make than a single cavity tool, the tooling lead time is longer, and the tooling is more expensive than a single cavity tool. But the benefit is being able to have a faster part production rate and a lower unit part pricing. Lastly, we have a family tool. Here, different parts of one assembly are put together or familyed into the same tool. Many times a family tool is a preferred option over a single cavity tool, as the tool price of the family tool is less than the individual tools of that part. The advantage of a family tool is you can have tooling price be a little bit less than a single cavity tool. You can also have lower production costs because you're combining all the parts into one tool and you can run all the parts on one injection molding press. One limiting factor is the parts in the family tool need to be the same material and similarly shaped and sized so that the tooling is balanced. There are options to plug or shut off one or more cavities, but this sometimes can compromise the part precision and quality. If you liked learning about the different types of injection molding tool layouts and this video is helpful for you, please subscribe so we can keep understanding what type of content drives you. Also, if you have other injection molding questions or challenges you would like for me to take on, please let me know. Or just let us know in the comments below what content you would like to see.